Hello everyone, welcome to Botany Insider. So in this particular lecture, we'll be discussing some of the common mistakes that students tend to make in the main examination and the things that you need to keep in mind to avoid these mistakes. Reason being, you have to be very very careful during those three golden hours during the time at which you are actually attempting you are actually giving out your best of the last six to seven months or maybe more than that so at this time span of three hours you need to avoid all the possible mistakes these mistakes are very common but Pointing them out in front of you might make you aware of them so that you actually have a point in your mind that you have to and have to avoid them. Most common mistakes, the very simplest mistake that students tend to make is stressing over things and also overthinking about the results. Stressing about that what the exam would be, how they would be able to perform it, whether they would be able to solve the questions, what would happen, all the possible things which are not in our hand are a part of the stress thing. Same is with the overthinking that what the result would be, how the questions would be set up, what would happen in the main examination, on all the other things which you don't have control over. So the most common mistake is of stressing and the overthinking. The best way to avoid these mistakes that I could suggest you or something that I have learned from my personal experience is not thinking about anything which is not in our control. See, you cannot control what the question would be asked. You cannot control what the result would be. But what you can control is those three hours. And controlling those three hours would help you control your result, which is your ultimate aim. Something that you have been aiming from, from the last six to seven months or one year or two years. So make sure that you don't stress about things and you don't overthink about the things which are not in your control try to be very positive try to be very focused over those three hours plan those three hours very very nicely so these three hours are very very important and do not let these things like stress and overthinking come in your way of your success now the next very common mistake that i have also made some of the times or something that I have heard from many of my friends as well that is trying to solve each and every question in the examination. You need to keep one line in your mind something that I heard from one of my friend which was one of the most golden advice that I got and that is the complete paper is not made for solving. Remember this thing the complete paper that we get whether for the CSIR or for any other competitive exam it is not made in such a way that you could solve the complete paper what you have to focus is that you have to dig up those range of marks which would help you qualify the exam and that particular range could be found out depending on your preparation depending on something that you have always worked for so if you want you can take this advice from my end that is do not try to solve all the questions in the examination try to focus on the things that you require try to focus on the things that you have studied let's take an example for the same to try to understand this particular point and that is let's say that you have done the part a section that is the math section at the best of your ability now in part a we have in total 20 questions and you have to do only 15 questions out of the same so some students what they would try to do is that they would try to solve out all the 15 questions regardless of 
thinking about that they are putting in almost one and a half hour for this particular section or maybe more than that i have heard about this particular time range for part a from many students reason being time management was not correct so what you have to understand is that you have to make time slots for or you have to make the time intervals depending upon the importance depending upon the marking that you have to give for any of the part from this particular point and the previous point you need to have or you need to avoid the mistake of time mismanagement as well that is have a proper strategy have a proper plan of those three hours in your mind beforehand and revise this schedule revise the three hour schedule in your mind again and again that yes i have to do part c first in which i'll be putting in let's say 80 minutes then i'll be doing part b and then i'll be doing part a i'll put up some time for my revision the revision of all the questions as well whether i have marked correct or not this is something which would help you to use these three golden hours very very nicely i'll put up a video as well from my side what i made a strategy what i tried to do uh, during these three hours the strategy i made uh, in a day or two so wait for that video otherwise if you feel like making your own so make your own strategy make your own plan but make a plan for 3 hours very very nicely it is very very important so the next point is the continuation of the previous one and that is wasting too much time on one question you need to understand the weightage you need to understand the importance of time management and do not waste more than 2 to 3 minutes on a question if it is a part c question let me give you a quick time line as well so we have part a b and c b is of theoretical questions c is experimentation and the other mixed question and a is for the general aptitude so try to give your maximum time to part c then part b questions should be completed at the earliest because they are very small to read it's only one liner and four options if you know the answer you can mark it even in 10 seconds then we have part a try to keep only 20 to 25 minutes for part a and rest give your time maximum to part c and then to part b as well i'll make a video uh, for the time management wait for that but for the time being understand this particular thing so these are the very very common mistakes that student tend to make i have tried to enlist them for you all i hope this would be helpful for you best thing that you could do to avoid stress is just say to yourself that yes i can do it and give a big smile to yourself and just work for the best outcome of the examination uh, more hard work all the hard work that you had put in for this particular examinations preparation and give your best shot for sure you can do it just stay calm and always have a positive attitude towards the examination and towards all the other things that you face in life so i hope this particular video would be helpful for you all thank you so much everyone for watching this video and also do not forget to like share and subscribe to botany insider in addition to the same if you're searching out something for the previous question paper revision you have still 5 to 6 days left in your hand so you could join or you could go for the pyq pointers pdf the details of the same is given in the description box if you wish to take the same i have provided the complete information for the same in the description box so check it out and if you want yours do get yours as soon as possible so thank you so much everyone for watching this video and also good luck everyone for the main examination bye